was a hard fought game against a good team. Um, I think there were a lot of positives on the defensive end tonight. I think we did a pretty good job guarding the ball individually for stretches. There were obviously moments of the game where they got away from us driving downhill and made some plays at the rim. Um, you know, the defensive rebounding hurt us again that they had 29 second chance points. I think our initial defense overall tonight was was good. Um, you know, they're a big physical team on the interior and they deserve credit for that. Um, offensively, you know, we're we're young and we have some new guys playing different roles and so there's going to be some clunky moments um, in terms of our execution and kind of the ability to think as a group and all see it the same, which is what the best teams do and we're working towards that. Um, so that's not totally unexpected from my end. And another night where we really struggled to shoot. Um, we had long stretches where the ball wouldn't go in, but I think overall our defense is what kept us in the game up until about two minutes left. Um, but <clears throat> that's the game. Obviously the most important thing right now is Taylor. Um, you guys got the release on the injury. Um, it's uh, it's hard to stomach. He's put in a lot of hard work. He's a great kid. Um, and so we're really just trying to focus on him his health, keeping him up, his spirits up um, as he begins the road, you know, of his recovery. But, um, you know, these are the moments in sports that suck. And um, he's put in a lot of work and he deserves, you know, an opportunity. And, you know, we'll help him get back. Obviously, that, that moment when he goes down is hectic and chaotic. How... How do you try and deal with those emotions and also get the guys to kind of be like, okay, we still have to play a half a basketball? Yeah, I think it's hard. Um, it's really hard. I wish I had an answer for how to perfectly go about that. Every person processes that differently. Um, a lot of us saw the aftermath. Maybe some people didn't. They try to cover it up as quickly as they can. Um, but yeah, that's a tough that's a tough one for both teams. Like that's not just us. That's any athlete that's on the court. They see that, and that's that's hard to watch. So um, yeah, you know, obviously we had a little break there as they're trying to get new paramedics here. But um, you know, you just try to do your best to give everybody a little bit of attention, let them know that Taylor's going to be okay in the long run. Um, and that we need to find a way to refocus on the game. But I, you know, I don't know if that happened or it didn't happen. That's kind of every person's individual um, response. You know, I mean, it's hard for me. I'm not playing. It's like, it's hard to watch. Your heart breaks for Taylor because of the kid that he is and, you know, all the work that he's put in and how he's approached, you know, this early part of his career. Um, so, yeah, like I'm, if I'm being honest, there are probably moments after that where, like, I'm not quite thinking very clearly. Um, so I assume for the players it's the same thing. How do you wrap up what Taylor has done with his game um, from now to, to where he was maybe a year ago and what maybe this injury, what kind of effect it has on, on that? Yeah, I mean, the... The injury obviously is just going to kind of put a pause button on his development for the moment. Um, it doesn't take away anything that he's done to this point. Um, you know, Taylor has openly gained a lot of weight and strength. It showed up in the preseason and the early part of this season um, with his ability to defend and rebound and make plays at the basket. It's showed itself when he drives the ball offensively. He doesn't get bumped off his spot. His understanding of how to play, <clears throat> you know, as more of a perimeter player um, and within our system has grown. Um, you know, he's he's developed as a, as a player. He's developed as a young man. Um, but I don't you know, this is far from over for him. Um, like I said, I, this is a pause button for Taylor. And, 
you can see it even in the early parts of this season. Like you can see the flashes. You can see where this could be going with him. Um, and that's a credit to him. He's put all the work in. He uh, spent a lot of time in the gym this summer, uh, not just on the basketball court, but in the weight room. He's made a dedication to his body. So, um, yeah, I think he's in 12 months' time or 14 months' time, he's really made a lot of progress as a player. And I don't see why that won't be the case in the future. You had a chance to have a conversation with him, and how's he handling this at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I just saw him briefly. Um, you know, you just give him a hug, tell him you love him, everything's going to be all right. Um, we'll do anything we can for him and his family. Um, but I haven't had an opportunity to really sit down and have a conversation with him. You know, after the game, everybody wants to go, you know, touch him, give him a hug, you know, dab him up, show him some love. So it's a... Uh, you know, everybody on our team and really in our organization that's traveling with us went through that room to see him just now. So I'll sit down and have a a longer conversation with him at some point in the near future. I know he's processing a lot right now, and um, I'm sure he's getting a lot of messages from family and, you know, loved ones. So um, we're going to do our best as a group to just continue to show him and his family some love and support during this. Um, but I'd, I'd say right now he's probably just a little bit shocked by it all. Um, well, just looking back at the game as itself, you talked about there's shots that you can't with there's shots that you can't. Tonight it looked like there was a lot of contested, a lot of things that were tough shots that mm -hmm. the Mavs made. How did you feel like that urgency translated onto the court tonight? Yeah, I think <clears throat> you know, you're dealing with three premier shot makers in – Doncic, Irving, and Clay Thompson, um, who each had moments. I, I even think you know Dinwiddie hit a couple time, timely ones um, that hurt us. Those are what they are. Um, I think ultimately the the rebounding is what hurt us tonight. And you know, there's moments where we switched Walker onto the ball, and I thought he did a really good job for the most part guarding individually. But that means that behind him is the smaller part of our team, you know, trying to block out the Gaffords and the Livelies. Um, and I thought that that's ultimately where we got hurt. You know, there's some long rebounds. Um, I thought Najee Marshall did a great job crashing the glass as well and made some big plays for them. Um, but that's why playing a team like Dallas is, you know, there's a lot of risk reward. There's a lot of choices to make um, and sometimes the results don't necessarily go your way I've been a part of plenty of games against these guys where the first shot goes in too much and you never get a chance to rebound so um, I thought the first shot defense was pretty good but they they ultimately not only did they get the offensive rebounds but they converted a lot um, you know to get 29 second chance points on 13 offensive rebounds is a pretty high clip um, but that's, you know, that's credit to them. They're, they're a heck of a team. Is Taylor going to be able to travel back with you guys? Yeah, he's coming back with us tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.